Hello everyone, this is Divya here from iWave Systems. In this video, we are going to walk you through the specifications of the recently launched OSM Open Standard Module, standard for solderable system on modules with a few tips and tricks on product design with the OSM solderable module. Launched in November 2020, SJET ratified another standard for the system on modules that was versatile, future-proof for low-cost, small-size embedded applications. This enabled the SOM to be directly soldered onto the carrier card rather than relying on the edge or board-to-board -board connectors. Why should one consider OSM? The main advantages of the OSM module include that the PCB solderable module provides resistance to vibration, compact form factor with the smallest pin-to-area ratio, and provision to technology scalability. Since the module can be directly soldered onto the carrier card, the module is a right fit for products that are prone to vibrations and require a compact form factor. A few examples include drones, connectivity clusters in automobiles and CNC machines. With the provision for the smallest pin to area ratio, the designer gets access to maximum number of pinouts and technology scalability across the modules. The all-new standard is available in four different sizes, ranging from size 0, small, medium and large, varying on the LGA contacts available on the module. The pinouts are structured in such a way that carrier board can accommodate all the sizes onto a single slot, making it extremely future-proof and versatile. The open standard module specification allows different heights to adopt the module to different technical requirements. Standard height F, flat, where the module is soldered directly on the open standard module carrier board. Extended height E, extended, the module PCB height is extended via a PCB spacer which helps to facilitate the placement of components on the bottom of the open standard module. Another option for mounting the SOM is by providing PCB cutout area on the carrier board itself as defined by the specification. So one can maintain standard height without requiring a spacer PCB. Of the four form factors in the standard, how do you decide on which form factor to choose for your product? A decision has to be taken based on the peripherals and interfaces required for your product. For example, for your industrial and networking applications where there might be a requirements for 5 Ethernet port, one has to opt for size L. A product with a display with a LVDS interface, you are once again forced to opt for size L and for an RGB display, you have multiple options. And the OSM standard has been very generous in terms of providing GPIO contacts up to 40 in size L. A decision on form factor also has to take into account the real estate required on the module for additional features on the module. For example, for a song with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you have to go for the size L due to area required for the chipsets. Here are a few product considerations while designing with the OSM module. The provision for space on the carrier card using a spacer PCB or a cutout on the baseboard presents various advantages to the designers in terms of mounting components at the bottom and allowing electrical components to pass through. Based on our experience, it was observed that placing decaps directly below the power fins offers very good efficiency. So what to choose, a spacer PCB or a carrier out option? Even though spacer PCB is costless, it adds up a lot to the assembly cost due to an increase in the amount of work to be done for soldering. Whereas in the case of carrier cutout option, we save the cost of spacer PCB which in turn reduces assembly cost. But the carrier cut option can end up creating many holes on the baseboard which might not be preferred by some product designers. When providing a cut on the baseboard, one must ensure that the cutouts are provided for all the form factors to enable future scalability and flexibility. The specification also predefines the areas or locations where the RF antenna can be placed. Taking care of thermal characteristics by predefining mounting holes based on the hotspots in the corresponding design through the use of appropriate heat sinks and heat spreaders. iWave has built a strong roadmap of system-on modules on the OSM standard. 
the iDOT MX18 Plus OSM module built on the size L standard delivers powerful AI and machine learning capabilities on a compact edge device. The iDOT MX8X Lite module built on the size SE standard is built for V2X, automotive and transportation solutions. Complementing the system on module, iWave also enables customers with a baseboard and a development kit to help customers accelerate their evaluation and development cycles. Thank you for watching.